，各位阿依尼集选区选民，大家晚上好。四年前，你把选票投给工人党，把阿依尼集选区的五个候选人送入国会。这是反对党第一次突破集选区制度，胜利攻下阿育尼集选区，改写了新加坡的政治历史。就因为你的委托，让我们有机会在国会中成为你的代言人。过去几年，我们同甘共苦。一起改造邻里设施，在这过程中，我们也成了朋友。在国会里，我们提出有关民生的课题。在阿育尼选区内，我们尽力让大家的生活过得更好。执政党一直试图利用市政会的事件抹黑我们。大家都很清楚，这四年来，我们多方面改善邻里的环境和设施，是大家有目共睹的。这是我们第一次管理一个大型的市政理事会，在最最初的两年，我们也非常努力处理财政管理问题。我们处理财政。的某些运作方式虽然有待改进，但我们全心全意为选民服务。从二零幺幺年大选后，执政党政府终于被逼听取人民的心声，改善公共交通服务。重新考量国人的住屋问题，还有修订新的移民政策。我恳请大家继续支持工人党，持续二零幺幺年大选所获得的成果，授权于我们，让我们成为你在国会的代议士。让我们掌握民权，把握未来，请投工人党一票。谢谢大家。Good evening, fellow Singaporeans, and especially voters of our unit GRC. It is wonderful to return once again to speak to all of you at Serangoon Stadium in our unit GRC. This election, our return here is even more special. First, it is now home ground, and second, the stadium is next to Boundary Road. From here, we can smell Marine Parade. Preparing my speech for tonight, I couldn't help but feel a rush of deep yet raw emotion, reflecting on our experience in the last four years as your MPs in our unit GRC. Four years ago, I stood here at our last rally, asking our unit GRC voters to support us on the promise that we try harder. You answered our call. For the first time in Singapore's history, a GRC fell to an opposition party. You made history. I still remember how proud you were of yourselves and what you had achieved. One of you loudly announced in a coffee shop near here, "In the whole Singapore, we are the best." In the last four years, we have gone through much together. The five of us 
have put our minds and hearts into being good MPs. We have enjoyed meeting you, rendering assistance where we can, raising your concerns in Parliament, and improving your living environment. We have learned a lot about the big hearts of our Junit residents, but we have faced our challenges too. We had to form our own grassroots from scratch. There was no way the People's Association Network would work with us. The biggest indication of this came immediately after the general election in May 2011. We learned after the GE that the HDB had secretly leased out 26 amphitheatres and basketball courts in our Junit GRC to the People's Association. The Workers' Party Town Council was simply told that these 26 sites were now taken away from the Town Council's management and reserved for the PA. Residents were warned by PA representatives not to invite us to events held on those sites or they would not get future approvals to use the sites. This, this led to some dinner organisers having to uninvite Chen Shou Mao from a seven-month dinner at Pai Leba. The organisers were so distraught that they wrote a card apologising to Shou Mao. Why must residents be treated this way? Another indication of the government's small-heartedness emerges every national day. In August every year, the whole of Singapore has National Day bannerets on roadside lampposts. From the logos on them, we can see that the bannerets are put up by the People's Association, the CDC, and often the town council of the area. When we took over our Junit Town Council, we saw from the files that the PA used to put up National Day bannerets with co-funding from our Junit Town Council. So naturally, we wrote to the PA to ask if they would co-found the bannerets with the Aljunit Aukang Town Council. After a long silence, the answer came back, no! <laughs> According to the People's Association Act, one of the PA's objectives is the fostering of community bonding and strengthening of social cohesion among the people of Singapore. Are they doing that in our Junit GRC? Are they uniting or dividing? Let us now talk about Parliament. Some of you are satisfied with our performance as MPs in Parliament, but some of you are not. You are entitled to your views and we respect that. Nevertheless, the record will show that we have played our part in Parliament in terms of attendance, participation in debates, and checking the government on important matters such as the population white paper. But how has the PAP treated us in Parliament as your elected representatives? The PAP politicians have used their civil servants in NEA and MND to prepare dossiers to try to nail us in Parliament. When the PAP makes accusations against us, they are not interested in a full and true debate. In fact, they try to catch us by surprise, hoping that we are unprepared or that we may not even be present in Parliament at the time. The last sitting of Parliament is a good example. A nominated MP filed a parliamentary question about the Auditor General's latest report on lapses by government departments and statutory boards, such as the PA and NPARCs. Instead of confining the government's answer to those questions, the PAP launched a curveball attack on the Workers' Party Town Council accounts, which had nothing to do with the main questions filed at all. And it is ironic that the MP who began the curveball attack was Mr. Liang Eng Hua, because Mr. Liang was an MP from Holland Bukit Panjang Town Council in 2008, when that town council lost $8 million of its funds from investing in failed layman products. Let me talk briefly about our town council. I already spoke at our first rally in Aukang on town council matters, and I will just add a brief note here. There have been constant bad publicity and attacks on AHPTC in the last two years. But our Junit GRC residents in HDB estates will know that their lives are going on as per normal. 
You know that we are maintaining the estate. You know that we are implementing cyclical works like repainting and improvement works like new covered walkways and family parks. Yes, we have, made, we have had our financial management challenges, but we have made improvements. And right now, we are up to date in filing our audited accounts. As chairman of the only opposition town council, it has been a hot seat. There have been times when the going was very tough. My family asked me whether it was all worth it. But we have fought back and overcome many challenges. And we are still here. AHPTC has been through a 10-month AGO audit, a special parliamentary debate for two days just to discuss the AGO report, and is now still in a court case. You should be very assured that there are sufficient checks and processes in place over AHPTC. In fact, voters everywhere should by now be convinced that any opposition town council will be well scrutinised to ensure proper management. This was most well put in a very recent post by an online writer, and I quote, Singaporeans who wish to put in place an unusual strong layer of control over their town council's financial and operational systems should logically vote for candidates of the opposition parties. Residents can sleep in peace, knowing well that the PAP will be watching their MPs round the clock. Before I end, please let me express my deep thanks to you, the residents of our Junit GRC. You extended to us your friendship and warmth. You came forward to offer your help. You stuck by us through thick and thin. We would not be here without you. And we are determined to do even better. Before the last general election in 2011, I was doing house visits at Kaki Bukit Division when I was bitten by a dog. We went on to win Aljunit GRC. About a month ago, while visiting homes at Walmer Drive, I was bitten again by another dog. I have a good feeling about this general election. My friends, today there is a lot of haze, but look beyond the haze. The blue sky is already above Aljunit. Empower your future. Vote for the Workers' Party.